Welcome to the machine. Hello again, pilots. I'm Shaolin Rogue, and thank you for joining me for the first installment in a brand new series on the machine, The Do-Over. Join me and my trusty Cossack, Stienka, on our journey starting from match one as I discuss the reasoning behind my purchases, upgrades, and tactical approach. Although I will be experiencing the game as a genuine new recruit, I will be well armed with the piloting skills and tactical experience gained on my main account and will attempt to minimize my resource investment, focusing on items I expect to use permanently with as little wasted on temporary assets as possible. I don't have a step-by-step -step blueprint laid out with my decisions pre-made, but rather a general idea of how I wish to approach the progression of the account, and will be making most of my decisions as they come up and discuss the factors I take into consideration. Before we get started, I'd like to say that approaching the game in this manner may be efficient, but you will miss out on a lot of great experience and fun fully exploring each robot, weapon, and level of gameplay along the way. On my way up through the former bronze and silver tiers, I was in no hurry to get to the end game and took the time to try just about every robot and weapon configuration along the way and feel it has given me invaluable combat experience that is serving me well now that my main hangar is entering the Diamond League. If this is your first time playing War Robots, you may want to start with my Boot Camp series of tutorials which covers all of the robots and weapons you'll experience during early levels, and I'll provide a link to the playlist in the description below. I would recommend that in addition to considerations discussed in this series, new pilots should plan to make a modest investment in temporary robots and weapons early on, as you'll probably progress through the league slower than a veteran player would, acquiring skills and experience along the way. For veteran players who, like me, took the scenic route through the old matchmaker system, this approach on a pet account will allow you to take advantage of the steady stream of resources available to new players as they progress through the game. At the very least, I hope you enjoy the nostalgia as much as I am, as I get to experience the unpredictable anything can happen crazy world that exists below the top level grind with its cookie cutter builds and disciplined gameplay. For our main source of income, I've decided that our focus will be entirely on obtaining the 5 gold award for the Medal of Capture as much as possible, and the Cossack is not only inexpensive, but gobbles up those beacons like a hungry locust. New player offers like these from picks are an inexpensive way to get ahead in the game early, but the idea here is to focus more on building our endgame hangar for higher tiers with minimal resources. With our first match out of the way, we can purchase a second slot and a couple of Cossacks. I'm spending the gold to upgrade one right away to give us an advantage over level 1 Cossacks, put us on par with level 2 Cossacks, and to reduce our disadvantage when facing level 3 Cossacks. With the second Cossacks upgrade underway, I'm off to match 2. Focusing on beacons first nets us another 10 gold, and our second Cossack upgrade is complete. We've also been able to reach level 3, enabling me to open up a third slot that I'm going to be filling with the shuts. We won't get a lot of use out of our shuts right away, but down the road it's going to become a backup beacon runner and a major source of damage for our crew. Time to head on into match three.
Both metals and 10 gold again, and since things are going so well, I decide to drop a little more gold, upgrading my Punisher to level 2, and start the upgrade on my level 1 Milan as well. Even though I don't plan to use these weapons past level 8, I feel upgrading them a little bit now will help us to stay competitive and is a good return on a small investment. After taking care of our upgrades, it's time to head back out there. Match 4 starts out good, I decide to run a different pattern on the beacons so that I can fire on the enemy sooner. Unfortunately, I have a fatal control stick lock and have to leave the match, but still reach level 4. We get 6 gold and 2 medals from match 4, as well as enough XP to hit level 5. My Malot upgrade is also complete, and I quickly collect my rewards and start upgrading my Malot to level 3. Be sure to catch our next episode of the do-over for the drive to level 10 and a serious firepower upgrade for our crew. I'm Shaolin Rogue, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Machine.